Hello again, it's Maria here with you today and I'm sharing another video of rambling roses. I'm calling it more ramblings and uh, that's the picture there a few minutes ago that or a few seconds ago that I showed you that we're going to be painting today and uh, here is the underpainting. Now I know I'm going through this very very quickly. I actually didn't video the original underpainting so I put another one together, very similar, just to show you the process and how I did it. Um, and this is, uh, we're on the main painting now. So really, you know, my process is to put down um, colors underneath and I put those colors down in acrylic. And sometimes I spray the acrylic with water to keep it wet and I scratch back to the color that's underneath. I might put two layers of color and let's say I put an orange underneath and a green over it and I scrape off the green uh, until the orange peeks through. And that's how I get those scratch marks that you can see down at the bottom of the painting. And that really is my drawing or my underpainting. Um, so rather than drawing in charcoal or drawing in pencil or drawing even you know, a lot of artists just draw their underpainting in paint. Um, I, I'm scratching it out. So my drawing is actually, and I'm using a palette knife just to scrape it back. Um, but it's, it really is only part of my, uh, my drawing because I'll come back and I'll, as you can see, I'm still really drawing onto this painting. Um, I, sometimes I'm painting in between the marks, other times I'm painting over the marks. Sometimes I'm painting, like I'm putting in the shadows between these marks and I'm using some of these marks as stems and I'll build around the stems. The scratch marks are like the stems of the flowers. So what I'm doing here is before I put in the blooms or the rosebuds, I'm actually putting in the grass and the stems and the earth and whatever is underneath the painting or underneath the final beautiful blooms and flowers. And then I'll come along at a later stage and I'll enhance those stems and I'll brighten them up. The one thing I do have to say is I can see myself casting a shadow onto this painting and that's because I'm working with natural light and um, it, sometimes it does interfere with the video uh, where I'm getting in my own way and it just depends on the weather if it's a really bright day. Sometimes I can't even paint if it's too bright because the light is actually beaming down on top of me and then other times it gets a bit dark if it's a rainy day or if it's there's a lot of clouds passing over. So whatever's going on today, my own shadow has just got in the way. And I don't like using um, uh, artificial lighting. Probably in the winter I'll have to because our days are much shorter in Ireland. But at the moment our days are lasting up to 10, 11 o'clock at night. So. I don't see the point in using artificial lighting. I really enjoy working under natural light, but I'm sorry if it is affecting the, the video, having my shadow in the way. It doesn't always happen. It just seems to be happening more so in this video than in any of the others. But it's just a short video and it's just uh, showing you this process. Now I painted, as I said, I painted um, another painting of rambling roses and I decided, I just enjoyed the first one so much, I decided I would do another one and just continue in the process that I come, came up with for the first painting. And this one, this painting changed quite a bit, even though it probably still looks quite similar to the first one but um, the roses are almost bigger. Um, now I know I haven't painted them in yet, the leaves are coming, but you can see kind of the basic shapes of the roses are beginning to form. And 
the roses are just bigger and kind of more bulbous and more juicy almost. Um, it's like I've kind of taken them a, a step further. So yeah, I think I, I'm still doing a bit of brushwork down at the bottom of the painting and adding in more shadows and just deepening the colours at the bottom. And they're just putting in just roughly the shapes of the, the roses. So if you like this video, please uh, subscribe and you'll get notifications. You'll know then when I'm putting another video up. And I hope you're getting something out of it. That's giving you ideas for your own work or your own painting. As you can see in this video, the scratch marks, um, I left them in to the very end. So they're really, um, I'm beginning to really like that effect of letting the drawing and the underpainting come through to the final piece. So just building up more and more of those greens. And uh, as, as I go on, the colour actually builds up. You'll see the colour building up, the light. It's, it kind of was quite dark in the beginning. But you can see that white is really beginning to brighten it up. So that's coming in kind of, it's like the light streaming down into the darker undergrowth of the painting. So it's kind of a very dramatic light coming down. And you can see I'm, it's creeping down now into the branches and into the leaves and I suppose it reminds me very much of early morning light when the dawn comes and it begins to creep into the garden you see it just coming through the trees and then it begins to creep down further 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 until it even lights up the darkest patches of your garden it's very much like spring isn't it after the winter and I just love that imagery as well, that after every winter in our lives, there's always a spring and the light begins to creep in bit by bit by bit in. And that's the hope that we have. And of course, there's always hope. God, there's always hope. So yeah, if you keep watching to the end of this video, the colors really begin to brighten up and change. And I have to confess that when I finished the painting um, and turned off the video, I think a few days later I came back to it and I decided just to add in a few more color enhancements and um, I didn't get those on video. So the very final, uh, I'll show you at the very end what it turned out like and that final picture is even the colours get brighter again. So you can see every moment here I'm heightening the colour and adding more and more vivid colour. So you'll see it at the very end it even gets brighter again and I normally do that when I'm painting a painting. Um, possibly in the days afterwards I'll pull it out again and I'll go Oh, it just needs a little bit more color here. It needs a little tweak there. So generally when I make the video, I try and finish painting as best I can, but it's always gonna happen that a day or two later or even a week later, I might pull it out again and go, no, it just needs a little bit more color here or a little less color there. And I just tweak it here and there. 
So I'm just going to let this video run on to the end and there isn't a lot, there's only another minute or two to go. So I hope you enjoyed it today and that you join me again the next time. So have a great day and God bless and talk to you soon and happy painting.